guitarlessons.net so this is the probably the most long awaited for jazz guitar video walking baseline video so today we're going to take four chords we're going to take a straight up 1625 and we're going to add walking bass lines to step by step i've seen a few videos on the web which are fairly good and i've seen books and articles written about it but i'm trying to take an approach where you can learn this stuff as fast as possible and get you playing your own stuff with walking bass lines so let's get going. First chord, B6, B flat 6, you can find on the PDF on the website. Second chord is G9, you can play it here. Third chord is C minor 7, and the fourth chord is F7. That's it. So what you want to be able to do before you add a walking bass to be able to play those chords, two beats each, slowly and with a good sound. You ready? A one, two, three chords. And so that's all. Once again. So please feel free to pause this video if you want to practice this a little bit more. The next thing we want to do in order to play a walking bass line is to be able to play just the roots of those chords, so just the bass notes really, play them in time the same as we did. So one, two, three, four. This is called example one. There's not, not even a chord involved, right? Just the bass. So once again, feel free to pause the video to practice exercise one a few times until you get it right. So in exercise two, we're going to take the chords and we're going to add a bass to it, but we're not walking yet. It's just a, like baby steps, you know, we're crawling. So as you can see in the PDF, it's you play the chord and the bass, and you play the bass right after. So simul simultaneously play the chord and the bass, then play the bass again. get you an idea how to separate the two voices. Let's do it together. A one, two, three, four. Again. That's it. Please feel free to pause the video if you want to practice this step a little bit. In exercise three now, we're going to turn the heat up on you, okay? because now we'll be separating and it'll start to sound more and more like a walking jazz guitar or bass line, okay? So we're gonna play a little bit of a triplet feel. You pluck the bass first, and the I used to my, my fingers, but you could also use your pick. It's gonna be harder with a pick because this is more like almost finger style, but not necessarily. Let's just see how you do with it. So you separate the chord like this bass, chord bass, and you give it a sloppy feel. So in fact, when you're plucking your little upbeat, you're only playing three notes because the bass is separated. The two, this is the bass, this is the high note. Woof. Sorry guys. So let's play this a few times together and see if you can get a, like a sloppy, walking, swinging feel on it. Ready? A one, two, three, four. Right. Last time. Please feel free to practice this on your own once again. Click pause and I'll be waiting for you right here. Now that you can play this comfortably already, the example three, with your sort of sloppy feel, the swinging thing, we're gonna take every bass 
and we're gonna approach it by one fret underneath. So let's say I'm going to play B flat here, but right before doing, I'm playing the fret below. And I'm repeating this process for each chord. So before the B flat, then before the G, and before the C. So in time, it sounds like this. One, two, Instead of being from the fret below, we're going to take the fret above. So three, four, one. So that's the same principle, really. It's just a matter of aligning the fret. If you're having problem with example four regarding fingerings, what you have to keep in mind is the finger that plays the bass to the chord is the one that has to be playing the approach, right? Or else be able to finger the chord quick enough. So always make sure it's the finger that fingers the actual bass note that is fingering the approach chord too. So let's do the approach notes. We'll do it together now from above in time. A one, two, three. six and seven are basically the same idea but instead of always having the same approach from the same sense we're going to come from above and for the next chord from below so let's say B flat that was from below now I'm going to approach the next one from above so below above below Sizes above, below, above, below, right? Above, below, above, below. So I'll let you practice six and seven on your own because it's not a big deal. And lastly, as you can see in the PDF, as example eight, um, it's called mixed approach. You can just read this one through and you'll find that often you do like two approaches from below in a row and then you do one from above and from below so you can really start to mix and you're not bound to doing it uh, methodically like you're not mathematically computing oh, i'm going to do this I'm going to do that you just decide when you're going to approach your tones and please note i think i wrote down the pdf too you have to think that approaches are now we did chromatic approaches only one fret but you can also do diatonic approach so meaning that it's scale scalable in a scale wise fashion so sometimes it can be a half step sometimes it can be a whole step sometimes it can be different so in order to wrap things up i've written a little blues b flat blues walking bass for you and i'm going to demonstrate it once and i'll leave you with a pdf to practice it um, let me know if you have any questions you can post comments or send me an email as usual and i'll see you soon on the website take care one Two, a one, two, three, four. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.